What is up, budget gamers? Are you craving some roguelike action, but worried your PC might not be up to the task? Don't worry, because your boy low-spec laptop gamer is here to put Hades 2 to the test on a low-end PC with an O-dedicated graphics card. That's right, we're talking integrated graphics only. So buckle up, grab your rusty trusty keyboard and mouse, cause we're about to see if Hades 2 can handle the heat of the underworld on your toaster. All right. Let's dive into the settings. Since Hades 2 is still in technical test, there aren't a ton of options to tweak. But guess what? We don't need him. I cranked the resolution all the way up to 1080p on full screen, and wouldn't you know it, the game runs like a dream. Smooth as butter, 60 frames per second, no lag, no crashes, just pure underworld exploring goodness. Seriously, the visuals in this game are stunning, even on low settings. The art style pops, and the animations are clean. This is definitely a case where less is more. This old unfinished now, painting. onto the juicy stuff. The gameplay. Don't Hades 2 takes everything we loved about the first game and injects it with a fresh dose of innovation. You play as Milanoe, Zagru's feisty sister, who brings a new combat style to the table. She wields a wicked staff and sickle combo, unleashing magical abilities that feel powerful and satisfying. The new Omega casts add a layer of strategic depth, letting you unleash devastating attacks at key moments. And don't forget the gods. They're back in full force, offering unique boons that can completely transform your playstyle. The story itself feels more personal this time around with a focus on Milanoe's relationships and a deliberate narrative progression that keeps you hooked. However, it's not all sunshine and roses down below. Since this is a technical test, the content is limited. There are only a few dungeons to explore and bosses to conquer, which might leave some players wanting more. Also, the lack of additional graphics settings might be a bummer for those who like to tinker under the hood. Overall, Hades 2 is shaping up to be an absolute masterpiece. Even on a low-end PC, the game delivers stunning visuals, smooth performance, and addictive gameplay. Sure, the limited content in the technical test might leave you hungry for more, but that just makes the upcoming early access even more exciting. So, the question remains, should you play the technical test now, or wait for early access? Honestly, that's up to you. If you can't resist a taste of the underworld, the dive right in, but if you prefer a more complete experience, waiting for early access might be the smarter move. Either way, keep your eyes peeled on this channel, because when Hades 2 hits early access, you know I'll be there, slaying foes and exploring the depths of the underworld with you. Until next time, stay frosty and game on. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. sunshine. Look, we can't get...
my aid. I'll see if I need this. You wretches. to dust. I lack the tools for this. <laughs> Farther than last time. Wailers. Need to press on. You there? Who dares? Hail, spirit. You invoke me? The cauldron's ready for me now. Last night I dreamt of this. Don't have enough just yet. Up and about? Tell me you killed the. I've nothing to report. Well, you'll get him next time, I reckon. Had mistress lent me the arcana. Don't have enough. Ready. Into Erebus. The sigil of frost. Had mistress told me so much. You look just like your mother. Grandmother. All of you gather round. Remember me? 